All right, morning, morning, kind of. Um, it's like 9.23, and we're just now stepping out of camp. As you can see, it's misty, it's wet. Um, oh, whoo, and I almost ate it. Um, getting out of camp late. Not super motivated this morning to get out of camp when it was raining. Oh, the rain was supposed to pass over us at like 9.00 which it did, but we still not very motivated. Still not very motivated. Um, just like a kind of dreary feeling day of just like, ugh. You um, spent too long talking about what it would be like to get home yesterday, and now we both just want to go home. Yeah. Um, we did it to ourselves. Yeah, 3,200 miles in, we're craving. I just want to go sit on my own damn couch. Yeah, craving home pretty strong, so it's wet. It's uh, the type of day that you're not super enthused to be hiking. I know some people are like, well, every day you should be enthused. All right, you come out here and hike 3,200 miles. Um, oh, it's wet. Like you know a, where it's dry? Uh, yeah. Right now is dry. It is dry at, at home. I hope, anyway. Yeah, if it's, it's wet, the, no if it's wet, there's a problem. Yeah. All right, so we're going. We're gonna begrudgingly go places today. Yeah. It's wet. All right. It's so slip. Yeah, it's super slippery. The scale doesn't make it look like anything on the video, but it's so steep. It's so steep and slippery. Like that mud is so slippery. And it's not even that wet. No. Oh my god! If we had tried to get out of camp earlier, we both would have just gone right down head first. Yeah. My knees aren't awake for that yet. Oh. Okay. That is a hefty bridge. Um, it goes over the Okanagan River. Ontonagan. Ontonagan. My poor calves. They want to pop off my body right now. Oh, baby, there's holes everywhere. Oh, really? Nope. Tricked ya. Susp suspension bridge. Oh, that's an easy ford. Why didn't they let us just ford it? Yeah. Oh, baby, there's a lot of bounces. Oh, yeah. Why? I don't, it makes me nervous. Yeah? I don't like it. I take photo. Alright, so they're actually couple good spots to camp um, after the bridge on the river um, not right here but there was a little bit before that bushy part eh, I guess you could even find some good spots up here too so yeah Just wanted to let you know all right sometimes when you've been hiking together long enough your uh, partner in crime or your baby just decides to leave you to the wolves and the bears and falling into the river and drowning um, yeah, once again, Magpie looked back, didn't see a Constantine, and she said, mm, he's okay. okay. I was close to the road. I was going to wait till you at the road. Yeah, she likes to say that she was going to wait somewhere, but I think we know better. She uh, ripped me off for dead, and she's like, okay, I'm okay with that. No. And then she's like, I'm going to just keep going. If I see Constantine in a few days, cool. If not, oh well. All she was thinking about was buttering some biscuits and uh, some jam and some pancakes and... I was fantasizing about this breakfast joint called Shea Cora, which is oh, the biggest breakfast ever. Oh, I know you were thinking about those pancakes. I was thinking about those pancakes, man. Yeah, so she just... So once you hike with a partner long enough, there will become a turning point when instead of being a team, they'll just write you off for dead and say, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go get pancakes. The other one may be dead, but there's pro there's priorities here. Uh huh. So swampy. It's so wet. Wow. All right, y'all need Jesus in this section. This section is not good. Um. No offense, but it's bad. We love we love you, Keith. We love you, but y'all need Jesus. We need to get a crew out here. Yeah. It's a uh, pretty rough, rough overgrowth. Um, again, 
to avoid all the crap storm that people like to comment on our channels when we say observational informational things it was an observation of what we're hiking through and no way does it discredit uh, or discount how much work trail maintainers put into all trail systems not just here but everywhere so thank you all for that but yeah this particular section just needs a little bit of loving um so i wanted to stop the shoot storm that was going to happen oh i got some seed pods baby i'm going to spread my seed across the across the valley Yeah, you got seed pods. Wow. Those are yeah, they're pokey seed pods. That was nice. Was it 20 minutes? It was at least 20 minutes. Wow. What time is it? 10:40. We've probably done a lightning fast three miles. Yep. All right, y'all. So <laughs> we just ran into. I wanted to make a joke, but then I thought it would be inappropriate because this guy's foundation is like actually pretty cool. Um, it's. Oh, Veterans Archaeological Hiking Society. Uh, no, it's um, uh, American Veterans Archaeological Recovery. American Veterans Archaeological Recovery. I think. Um, we're going to probably, in this video, maybe throw a link down below in the description. So, it sounds like really cool. Yeah, so you can give a follow. Um, it's this veteran that was out here, and he's actually doing all of Michigan. He started at the Wisconsin-Michigan border to raise awareness for this foundation and money, and money of course um this found foundation sounds pretty cool though like it's giving veterans healing through hiking but also healing through archaeological ar archaeological things archaeological research. archaeological research which sounds pretty sweet um we he told us a couple stories of what kind of digs he's been on and stuff like that and it, it sounds pretty interesting it's a uh, it's at least unique a unique flavor um there's a lot of good organizations and programs already out there that give veterans healing through hiking but um this one combines hiking and archaeological archaeological things i want to say archaeology and then i go to archaeological <sighs> but yeah that was pretty cool um running into another long distance hiker his name's josh, by the way. His name's josh. Uh, that was cool i just did an effect of like a pop zoom um and like it was cool just to see his energy and see his uh kind of passion and his happiness of actually being out on trail we need uh magpie and i if you've been watching the video today we need to somehow dip into that fountain of youth of energy levels of being gung-ho and being on trail um yeah we need to dip in his fountain of youth of excitement uh -oh. where baby go trail go bye-bye huh Okay, it has to be around here. It's got to be around this blowdown. Yeah. So, um, yeah, that was really cool. Um, I'm going to withhold my joke. I really wanted to make a joke about adventuring with uh, cinnamon. Um, the, the adventures of cinnamon. Uh, the story of a stripper. But um, I'm not going to do that. I'm so confused what that joke is. Huh? Uh-oh. We lost trail. We really did. All right. I'll catch back with you in a second. Well, maybe that's enough. Maybe I just want to go on adventures with cinnamon. I think that's what it is. Baby, is it okay if I go adventuring with cinnamon? I don't know what that means. It's like a... No, I'm going to just... Okay, we're going to go find trail. Pretty. Um, don't know what this river is called. I'm going to take a big ponder and wander and guess it is Okanagan. But I think we already crossed the Okanagan. Um, oh, 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 almost just smacked that face, baby. I am really annoying, aren't I? Oh, well. I figured out what river it is. I wonder how. Um, I just pulled out the information from my head. There was definitely no signage that let me know what river it is. It's the Baltimore River, guys. Um... I don't know how you wouldn't know that. Jeez. Pretty. Very pretty.
Yes, queen. That was the gentleman that we uh, ran into, Wolverine or Josh. Um, I think that was him. Yep. Um, and then Magpie wrote some stuff, and then I wrote, Today is definitely going to be a adventure with Simon type of day. You know she fancy fancy. Y'all may not have been introduced to Cinnamon, but I may or may not introduce you to Cinnamon later today. Um, I might not, though. It depends. Magpie looks like she wants to say something about Cinnamon. Nope, and then she walks on. She doesn't want to say anything about Cinnamon. You know she fancy, baby. Oh, no. oh Okay. <laughs> We go places. Um, so if you run into the pool and then hop in and go over there, that would be great. No, I'm not going over the falls. Why not? That like a fun water slide to me. It's like a fun water slide. The first one would suck because you hit rocks. The second one goes into a deep pool of water. Not Pretty. Okay. Lunchtime? Sure. Yeah? Do you want to have one? Are you hungry? Not really, but we can take lunchtime at a cool waterfall. Mm -hmm. What are you doing here? Yeah, lunchtime. Right, Lightning fast. Wow, really pretty though. Yeah? Yeah. But it's raining. I know. <laughs> Our motivation is so flagging. Oh, we took a lunch break at that last place. It is now noon and we've done four miles. About, maybe less than four miles. Y'all, we, we need an influx of spiritual juices of, oh no, not, not the rain juice. I don't want that. Oh. Our motivation is uh, pretty flagged today. Pretty rough. I don't want to hike. Pretty rough. Um, four miles by noon. Lightning. Like lightning. Wow. No, it was raining. Oh. Okay. Okay, fine. You're bending my arm. I'll give you two tummy rubs. Baby, I'm not, I don't have the power. Alright, so the trail continues across there, but I'm going to go this way because I really, 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 really hope that I can bat 100 at a privy um, at a parking spot. It looks like it's a popular enough area that I should be able to bat 100. If not, I may cry. Um... I'll definitely lose my batting percentage if there's no privy here. Oh, wow. How far is it? Come on. All right, so that not only blew my mind, but also almost blew my pants off. That trailhead, the Cundy Falls, doesn't have a privy. Why? I don't know. But y'all better, uh, better find Jesus because it does not have a privy. So be prepared. Luckily... There are woods and there are holes that can be dug, but we were we were batting close to uh we almost started batting ninety nine percent. That would have been unfortunate. That would have been quite unfortunate. But luckily we're still batting a hundred. Um, just barely though, just barely. All right, we crossed Highway forty five. Now I don't know. We're gonna walk places. Got a lot of miles left on the day, so. We're gonna walk places somewhat fast. I guess, maybe, we'll see. This trail's super nice. All right, so the trail gets significantly better after uh, Oconde Falls and then crossing Highway 45, like significantly. Granted, we're still not super far deep into uh, being far from the road, but already it seems like the terrain and the type of uh, ground we're walking on is 
way better. Way better in the sense of eating miles. Depends how you define better. Y'all might like bouncing around roots and uh, swamps, but yeah, we like that too. But way better for eating miles. Go, baby, go, go. Just gotta run down it. Nope. Why? I'm more, it's very slippery. How slippery, baby? It's slippery enough to film and walk at the same time? Already doing it. Awesome. Oh, yeah. So we're dropping down to the river right before Old Victoria, um, like the Queen. Somehow we ended up in Britain. Um, it's a little rainy around here, says the British. Baby, is that a British accent? Four score and seven years ago. That is American Abraham Lincoln. Um, little bit of British for you. Uh-huh. So we're going to go for the river down somewhere yonder. Yonder over Wander Ponder. Um, and then... After that, we climb up to Old Victoria, so it's got some droppage, some droopage. But we've been on trail enough that, of course, there's going to be droopage. Um, you don't even have to be on trail that long, there's going to be droopage, depending on a lot of different factors. But, all right, we're going places. Let's walk. This feels very out westy. Oh, really it's an easy ford. No fair. I thought we were supposed to go swimming. I mean, this water level can change at any time, depending on how much they release the dam Oh, should we camp here then? Definitely not. Why not? Because uh, we might get flooded out. Yeah, we might. This is the Okanaga, Naga, 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 Naga River. And as you can see, these are giant banks on either side. So the water, you really would have to swim it at different water levels. Like, I mean, that's pretty. Yeah, pretty nuts how steep some of these banks are. They show you how deep the water gets. Like that. That's nuts. Alright, we're climbing out of the river. Um, if you look to, well, I guess there, as well as there. If you look over Magpie's right shoulder, you can see a big old pipe. Um, and it also has a sign. Please keep off the pipe. So... We're gonna listen to the sign. We're not gonna walk on the pipe. It is huge. Nickname in high school. Nickname in high school. Baby, did you find a pipe? Artisanal water pipe. How is it artisanal? Artesian. Oh. An artesian well is a ground seat. Baby, that's kind of squishy. Yeah, because there's an artesian well right here. Artisanal? Artesian. An artisanal well, huh? It's a slow trickle, but... On this open episode of Adventuring with Cinnamon, oh, no. we find a pipe. Cinnamon has wandered upon the world, and is it 
are they a she? I don't know. But it's your character. You get to decide. Okay. Cinnamon is in fact a she. So Cinnamon finds a pipe. And Who Cinnamon. Is Cinnamon, babe. Well, we can't go into full descriptions here. Oh boy. Adventuring. He's really getting weird. Adventuring with Cinnamon. He's made up a character for himself to keep himself entertained. Episode one. Uh huh. Cinnamon found an artisanal pipe, crafted from the artisans of old, it's old artisan. Stone Ages. Oh, look at that big frog. Crafted by the artisans of many ages that are lost to memory, artisanal pipage. No, it's just called an artesian pipe spring. Go ahead, girl. It's just water that bubbles up through the mud from a hidden, hidden well spring of water. Cinnamon don't know nothing about that. Oh no. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon found a pipe. You better not. Oh boy. How many episodes of Cinnamon should we have? I think just one. Let's just do the pilot and see how she plays. Oh, I bet the pilot of Adventuring with Cinnamon will be fine. Man, the NCT is starting to give us shelters again, but um, our miles just aren't linking up. If we would have done, I don't know what a shelter to shelter hike would have been. It would have been over 30 miles. Aw, old Victoria shelter. Pretty sweet. Yeah, unfortunately our miles have been a little out of whack to do shelter to shelter hiking. But this is really nice. Wow. Oh wow. It's pretty immaculate in here too. And there's a NCT bucket that we're gonna open and sign. Denali? Why'd Denali sign this? Isn't Denali out in New York? I don't know. Huh. North Country Trail Denali. Was it trail magic for Denali and then she just left the bucket? Left it? Maybe. All right, baby's gonna open up the box. Shelter journal, please latch. What's in the box? What's in the box? Anybody know that reference? Anybody? Anybody? What's in the box? Nicholas Cage. Oh, okay. Peter the Lat Man by George Simeon. 50 hikes of Michigan and Wisconsin's North Country Trail. Booty. Maps. Okay, we're gonna sign the log. I love how the sign says open today and it's never changed. It's not like a dry erase board or they have another tag on it. It's just always open today. Yep. So this is old Victoria trail right there. Blue blazes. Um, but yeah, little, little old town. Pretty cool. Wow. Super, not super old town. Um, I wonder if you can go in this house or if it's somebody's house. No? You sure? Might be a visitor center. Maybe some type of restoration. Yeah, it's a visitor center. It is a visitor center. This is one of the better views we've had in a while. Yeah. Where, baby? The red cliffs over there. Oh, yeah. Where's the, the red cliffs? Baby, I jump? No. Why not? You just get hurt. Cannonballs. No, thank you. Wow, look at this. You can actually see a lot of the land. This would be the spot to camp. Two banging spots to camp, like within a mile of each other, two miles. The shelter and this spot. Pick what you want, a view or a roof. <laughs> you only get one. On yeah. Wow, very pretty. All right, so I think this is the top of Lookout Mountain. Might be wrong. 
Um, after that last viewpoint, you drop down for a second, then you climb back up. Huh? Okay, we're past Lookout Mountain. This was just kind of a little bumpy, a little bump mountain. Oh, sweet. We're ridge running today. These are some hills, baby. Sweet. We'd be trapping in these hills, baby. I don't... Yeah, I don't think we're in trap hills yet. But. This is a black cliff, I think. They are in some pretty cool spots. Beautiful. Wow. We really are the tallest thing out of, God, long ways away. Oh, I like being up high. Yeah. Nice. All right, so um, it's about five o'clock. And we've done, I don't know, somewhere in the realm of 18 miles. Um, as you've seen with today, we've not been lightning fast. Got out of camp super late, took an early lunch, sat in that shelter and fought the gravity of just calling it a day in that shelter. Stoke level been a little low. Um, but no matter what, doesn't matter if the stoke level's low, still got to keep moving forward um, to get to the edge of the Porkies by tomorrow night so we can get back to the bridge and walk it. Um, so yeah, even with the stoke level low, still gotta move. So I think we're gonna do like 10 miles more around that today, um, somewhere in there. Probably end up getting right underneath the 30, 28 or 29 miles, which again, not a big mile day for us. Um, kind of feels like we're uh, skimping a little bit, but such is life. We can't be perfect every single day and just crush, 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 crush. Um, if you've also seen the days leading up to this in this section, we've been kind of taking it easy in this section. Um, one, the terrain's a little more difficult. Um, and two, we could be doing mid thirties, but don't really want to. We would have to wake up earlier. I think I've described it a lot of times. Um, so we kind of been just lackadaisical hitting thirties in this section, like right at 30 or right below or right above, right within that mark. So that's what we're gonna do again today. Um, yeah, we're gonna walk places. About 10 more miles, a little after five. We'll let it go. Oh baby, that's uh, that's some rock hopping. Easy now. So you're gonna keep working for those views, but they're gonna keep paying off. Um, really beautiful area, so. We're a few miles before Gleason Falls. Pretty sure that's what it's called, Gleason Creek. Um, and you got some good, good climbs. You got some McBouncy bouncies. But again, it's gonna pay off. Um, that's pretty awesome being so high up. 
having views again, like you're on top of a mountain. We're gonna camp at about a thousand feet tonight to answer your question. Oh, so it's 400 feet down there. Yeah. Oh, I'd rather camp on a plateau. Well, that's not really an option unless we want to do a big, big mile day. Hmm. Maybe. Bouncing in the house tonight. All right, right before Gleason Falls, there's a pretty baller campsite. Um, I don't know what you... I don't know where you would actually find like a spot for your tent. Hammock, Baby went the correct way. Oh yeah, you could probably hammock. Um, a lot of there's a lot of good camping along this uh, little bouncy cliff ridge line. So you go wrong way. Do you see a blaze? I saw a blaze on the rock. I knew you went wrong way. Don't go the way that the baby goes. If you got a baby. And they start walking places. Don't go that way. Blaze. This way. Blaze. This way. No more blazes. Blaze. This way. I found the trail. That's super rude. I didn't know Gleason Falls was off trail. I thought we were going to see a waterfall. It's out and back, too. There's no lead trail for it. You're an back. A uh, wooden backer, Brian Urlacher, football player. Okay. Oh, yeah, everything's slippery on this side. Cool little ravine, though. Yeah, we drop down and then back up. We drop down into the valley over here. Then we go over, and over that bump, and then over that bump, and then over that bump, and then behind. Nice. So many bumps. Cool. So much bumpy. Sometimes you gotta do some bumpies. So much bumpiness. Pretty awesome. I'm glad it puts us up here though, it's really gorgeous. Yeah, feels like hiking. So you know what's cool that I've kind of been thinking about, but I've neglected to point out until now? They angle their blazes, usually in the direction you're supposed to go. Not a lot of places do that. Um, so like, you came down from up where the diddly is, and then you angle the blaze and it points in the direction you're supposed to go. Um, I don't know if that's specific to this section or what, but it's pretty... It yeah, it's pretty sweet. Um, so I did want to give credit for that, for those trail maintainers and that ingenuity. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I've been seeing it a lot, just I forgot to film it. But it's pretty sweet, so thank you all. Cool, cool. So pretty awesome water all throughout here. Um, you're not gonna really have to worry about it. Of course the plateaus, not the best spot to look for water, but in these little crevices, you can find really good streams. Constantine really wants to camp on top of the bluff, so I'm gonna grab some water here. Yeah, so if we camp on top of the bluff, it only puts us a mile back, mile and a half back from what we were shooting for. Um, and depending on what time we get to that top of the bluff at like 8 o'clock, I'm assuming, we might be able to watch sunset from up there. We're going to get there closer to like 8.45. No, it's like three miles away from us. No, 96.5. Yeah. Right now we're at 101.5. Oh, wow. Yeah, we got five and a half miles still, sweetheart. There's no way. Yeah. Math is wrong. We can't, we can't be still five miles away. Um, I'm hoping we can get there for sunset. I don't know. We'll see. Pretty awesome campsite between the two cliffs. Um, if you're more of a water slash river camper, um, great water, great campsite, great fire pit. Um, yeah, different strokes for different folks. Um, we like camping up high, but I also know a lot of people that love camping up, but down by the water. So that was a pretty sweet one too. First uh, good few of the cliffs on the other side. Can't yet see where we came from, but these were what we were pointing at. The other cliffs are like tucked in there. Can't really get film because if I step farther out on the rock, I'm gonna fall. But um, yeah, did a good, good amount of climbing to get up here. I think we run back in here, come back, 
think we run out to there, do a couple zigzags. So um, yeah, you're gonna do a little bit more climbing to get up here, but that's okay. Um, beautiful kind of campsites all around. Hey baby. Hello. Um, so yeah, that's the first uh, viewage you get from the cliffs. Very cool. Another nice view. Here we are. Here we are. Forward momentum. Huh. Really nice signpost to be kind of, feels like it's the middle of nowhere. But I guess if you do a side trail, you can see some mines. Um, makes sense because it's been super bouncy through here. Um, really, really bouncy, so yeah. We are here. We're gonna try to get to like there tonight before we do the drop. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. We go up yonder, I think. Yes, Blue Blaze that way. It's about eight o'clock. Probably got about 30 more minutes to step in. Might not be able to catch that sunset up top, but still hoping it's gonna be a beautiful campsite. Good day today. Even though we got out late, had a lot of different stuff. It was nice with the variety. It was, um. Really nice having a little bit of variety in the day. Um, yeah, not feeling crushed or crunched or anything like that. Hey, baby. Hello. Ready? Yeah. We go. All right, no trail register. So we just signed the little bit of maps. It's like little scraps of maps in there. Um, thought I would point that out in case the trail chapter wants to put a new register in there. Um, pretty nice though. We go that way. Oh wow, that's nice. And it's just sunny, so. And then you get to have a view of it for the last mile. That's really pretty. Very much wow. Very beautiful. There's no way to capture it on film. No. Very beautiful. All right. Yeah, I'm just gonna run away. Oh yeah. Very pretty. All right, so I don't know how many miles we did. Um, That's probably accurate. With all the twists and turns, I don't know. 27, 28. No, that's accurate. All right, class says it's accurate. I still don't think it is. 96 to what? I'm busy. Yeah, um, we got absolutely- 123.5 to 96.5. I don't feel like doing the math. We got absolutely poured on. In the last five minutes because Constantine couldn't find his headlamp because he didn't put it somewhere sensible. All right, I can't. All right. 